Hello. <laughs> this is 23-year-old cat lover Zoe. My cat is called Luna Athena, the Duchess of Ireton House, but you may call her the Duchess. One of my favourite things to do is have a glass of wine and give her a glass of Prosecco or Pinot Meow, which was out of stock for a very long time, but I've got loads now. <laughs> Hello, Hello, you. I heard you maybe need the salmon. I need to decide yeah? whether I should wear this one or this one. So, what is your strategy for tonight? I don't know, to pull. <laughs> <laughs> I am not a naturally easygoing person. I think I am quite wound tightly, even though I give off the impression that everything is funny. But, God, social anxiety is an absolute ball ache. Uh, you look beautiful. I worry quite a lot about a lot of things. I stress myself so much that I get heartburn. <laughs> I think maybe this one. Yes. It's both. Bumps and booms. OK. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're going to be amazing. OK. OK? See you later. See you later. I think it's fear. There is a big fear of letting somebody in. But it would be nice to have a boyfriend. You just need to have the ability to feel vulnerable. That's the thing. Oh, these steps do not get easier. I've never been in love, but I felt love. Hello, how are you? Hello. Are you looking forward to this? I am. I'm just so nervous I could swallow my tongue. Come with me. That feeling that you have when you meet someone. Take a seat. Hello. That Thank feeling you. of excitement is so great. Could I have, please, the glass Prosecco? Yes. It just doesn't come around enough. <laughs> What's up with you and dating, Zoe? I'm notoriously single. Notoriously single? All my mum wants is me to have a boyfriend. Is she one of those mums that spots boys? Who oh. phones you up good? No, 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 no. Had her at a funeral texting me saying, I found a second cousin, he's a doctor. Thoughts? <laughs> Anyone. <laughs> Anyone. It's ridiculous. He has to be tall. I like tall men. And I want him to have hair. As not too much hair, but not, you know, None. You will actually. I'll come back and check in a minute. Okay, okay. I don't want him to wear hats. Do you know what I mean? Caps and doors at dinner. Take your hat off. I do like a top hat, but you know, <laughs> that's <laughs> unrelated. Sexual fantasy. <laughs> Won't be long. <laughs> <laughs> Are you close to your family? I love them to pieces. They're my. Her out sounding corny, my rock. No, I, no, it doesn't. I completely, it doesn't sound corny. I think it's the most important thing. Yeah. Are you close with your family then? I am close to my family. You know, my dad calls me every morning at seven when he's walking the dogs. My brother is a good man. Mm. So how many uh, siblings do you have then? Um, I have two siblings. Okay. I get stuck between two situations. Someone asks me if I have siblings and I either lie and say so I only have one or I say, yeah, I've got two but one died. And it's really difficult to decide what to do. How can you not say something that's that important? Uh, my brother is Tom. He is 28. Uh, and I have another brother called Nick. He passed away. Oh, sorry to hear that. That's fine. And then it's me. And we have some dogs. Nick was... The sunshine boy. He was one of those people that would walk into a room and the room would light up and it would be warm. My brother passed away when I was 12. He was with his friends in town and he collapsed. He had a heart problem. The paramedics were trying to resuscitate him, but when we got there, he, he, he had died. And, um, but, you know, he wasn't in any pain. So it's fine. He didn't know what was going on, so that's fine. Are you okay now about it? Yeah, it's fine. I'm never going to say anything other than it's fine, you know. It's... I get that. I'm the same as you. It's probably not fine, but it is fine. <laughs> <laughs> I think I do struggle quite a lot with what's happened. I hide a lot of who I am to people because I don't want to let it all out. And so letting someone in, I think, is quite scary. I need a man that will get it. Yeah, get it. 
I've been with blokes that haven't been able to handle it. I would never be the kind of person that would be like, nah, that's drama, goodbye. You know what I mean? Like, I think that's just... I think if you're like with someone, you have to be understanding. Make sure you subscribe to get a regular serving of love and romance.